What's up, guys? We got another Cyrax kick stream. He's uh, he's fresh off of getting embarrassed by his ex stepdad, and he's taking a long break, claiming some some dude that doesn't exist has saddened him again. So let's check it out. I'm seriously taking a break from myself, guys. Because I just learned something. Alright, how's this? Is this better, guys? the news I just got I am taking a break for a very long time I was sitting now working on an instrumental to record to when I got one of the worst worst calls of my life As many of you guys know, I do have friends that are in the military. About two or three months ago, my friend Owen got shipped out overseas 
for obviously the war that's going on right now. A few minutes ago I just got off of a video call with his brother in the hospital. And my friend Owen is currently laid up in the hospital from an IED explosion. And they don't know if he's going to make it or not. And I'm not going to lie, that is one of the hardest things of news I've ever gotten. And before you guys say it, yes, I know about the thing with my fucking dad. I know what's going on. And believe me, that does hurt me. Believe me, dude, that does fucking hurt me a lot. Seeing the man that fucking raised me do what he's doing right now in front of over 1,200 people. Believe me when I say that does hurt. That does. But let me tell you. Getting that fucking phone call. Was the one thing that I was hoping that I would never have to fucking get. Let me tell you right now, getting that news that one of my closest friends that I practically grew up with currently being in the hospital fucking kills me. This is the man that had my back, who knows about the trolls, who is beyond fucking pissed with what's going on. And trust me when I say if Owen saw what was going on, trust me when I say he'd be up on that goddamn panel in a fucking heartbeat without question fucking saying something. Because he's done it before. He's done it a few times. He's gone up on panel against the trolls a few times. And I can honestly say that yes. It did take everything in me not to go up on that fucking panel and say something to Kate and my now ex-father who's a deadbeat. It took everything to not get up on that panel. But I never in my whole life would have expected this kind of news. Trust me when I say, seeing my friend Owen laid up in that fucking hospital. Seeing Owen laid up in that hospital bed.
and damn near fucking killed me. He was actually stationed over in Palestine. He had just got sent over there a few months ago to fight. He got sent over there early, like right when things were just starting to get bad. Like just when things were starting to get bad a couple months ago, that's when he went, that's when he got shipped out. Yo, CIA, I'll have, to, I'll have to mod you up after the stream because I can't do it on here. I'll have to do it afterwards. Actually, there are. He was Navy. Like I said, seeing one of my closest friends laid up in that hospital bed fucking killed me. It really did. It fucking tore me to pieces. Which is why for the next few months, I'm seriously taking a very long break from everything. Videos, uploading, streaming. Because I'll be honest, seeing my one of my best friends in that position. On top of dealing with this shit with my fucking asshole former dad. Who turned out to be a piece of fucking shit. Like, I can honestly say, I hope that none of you guys, I hope and pray to God that none of you have to go through the shit that I've been going through. Especially with my fucking dad. The man that fucking, the man that fucking raised me for half my life. Up in front of over 12,000 people, tearing me to fuck apart trust me when I say it took every single ounce of my very being to not go up there and fucking say something to Kate to William or to that fucking asshole former dad of mine it literally took Every single ounce of my very fucking being, every fiber in my fucking body, every single molecule to not fucking say something, to not go up there and actually say something. And seeing him do that, seeing him do that. Fucking with me to shreds. Like I said, even if you guys are trolls, even for the trolls, I hope and pray to fucking God. I hope and pray to God that none of you have to go through what I've had to go through. I hope and pray to God 
that y'all never have to deal with what I had to deal with or what I do deal with on a daily fucking basis. I hope to God y'all never have to go through this. Because let me tell you right now, you guys don't know the fucking toll that is taken on my body. The toll that is taken on my family. The toll that is taken on me both mentally and physically. I can honestly say... That I would never wish this upon anyone. I can honestly say I would never wish what I've been through or what I deal with on anyone. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't wish this on even my worst enemy. No one fucking deserves this. No one deserves to get put through the hell that I've been through. No one fucking deserves the hell, the nightmarish bullshit that I've gone through. And to my former dad, and to Kate, I hope you guys see this. And to my former dad, I hope you know that as far as I'm concerned, you're dead to me. You mean nothing to me anymore. The minute that you bashed not only on me and disowned me, but the minute that you bashed on my mom, the woman that you were fucking married to for over 12 years. The minute you bashed on her on that stream the other night. I lost all respect for you. I lost all respect for you that night that you did that shit old man. Do I respect what you did for our country as a soldier? Yes. I do respect that you were in the military. But as a man, I do not respect you. As a human being, you're nothing more than garbage to me now. If anything, you're no better than the fucking trolls themselves. You're no better than they are. Disco, you want to know what I've done for this country? I've tried to fucking help people like myself. I've tried to help others not to take their own life. To not go down the same fucking road that I went down. That's what I've done. What have you done? Huh? What have you done? To help anyone? And you know, sometimes helping the country doesn't mean always paying taxes. Sometimes it's more about helping someone and being there. Being a friend sometimes is more important than making money. Sometimes being there for someone that ain't got nobody is worth more than anything in the fucking world. 
you want to know how I know? Because I've been there. I've gone through this shit. I know what it's like to be on the fucking edge. I know what it's like to want to take your own life. Because I'll admit. I've actually attempted to take my fucking life before. I've attempted that shit twice. So trust me when I say, unless you know what it's like to be in that position, you need to keep your mouth shut when you don't know what you're talking about. When I do these shows, when I do these songs, I do them for people like me that don't have anything, that get pushed aside by society. The ones that are on the fucking edge every day because of people like y'all fucking trolls. They're the reason why I do it. Because I am them. I am one of them. I know what it's like. But you dumbass fucking trolls. All you do is sit there behind your computers and laugh and laugh. And try to figure out ways to make my life worse. As well as other people's lives worse. Well I'm here to tell you the troll community is a fucking joke. All you guys are, are internet terrorists. That's all you trolls are, are internet terrorists. You run around and terrorize people for what? Views? Who gives a fuck about views, huh? Man, fuck IP2. They're a bunch of pussies too. I'll be honest. I'm sick of sitting here and being fucking quiet. I'm sick of sitting here and just letting you trolls skate on by. Acting like it don't bother me. I'm tired of it. No, I'm not muted. Like I said, I'm tired of just sitting here and being attacked. Matter of fact, CIA hole can tell you for himself. That man was there that fucking night. That I tried to take my life on Kate's live stream. He was there. He was there that night. He saw what was going on. I'm telling you guys right now. No one deserves. 
And I mean no one deserves to be in that fucking position. Yo, CIA, can you hear me, man? Can you hear me, guys? Post in the comments if you can hear me. Let me take care of this fucking thing real quick. I need to block this person on my Xbox. Hang on. I had to mute somebody that was spamming a fucking party invite as a, as a troll. It was a fucking troll basically spamming a party invite. I do apologize. But, like I said, because of everything that's been going on, I'm taking a serious fucking break. Like, this shit has got to fucking stop. Which is why... Like, this is exactly why I'm taking a long extended break from my mental health. Because I need the break.
like I said, I know you guys enjoy the content, but I do need you guys to understand that I need this break for myself. I need to do this for me. Between one of my good friends ending up in the hospital and my dad basically doing what he's doing, it's, it's, it's honestly a lot. No, honestly, see, I hold, you're right. You're right on that. We should pray for Wyatt. We should pray for him to not be a fucking asshole. We should fucking pray for him to not do the shit he's fucking doing. And hopefully that one day he fucking quits his bullshit. So, no, you are right on that. Like I said, I am seriously taking a break for myself, for my mental well-being. I need the break. I don't know what I'm going to do while I'm away, but I do know that I need to take this break. I need to do this for me. Because I'll be honest, guys, I have not truly, truly had a break from everything. Like a true, honestly, you know, extended break in almost 10 years. The last break I actually took where I was off line and not doing anything for over a year was back in like 2011. Like 2011, 2012 was when the last time I took an actual extended break. Which is why I'm taking the time to do that again. Because I need this. I need this for my health. I can tell you guys right now that because of all this, my mental health is starting to go backwards. And I don't need that. I need to be going forward, not backwards. I need to get away from all this. I need to get away from the trolls. I need to get away from everything. Which is why I'm taking a, a serious break. And believe me, it's going to be hard to not, to, you know, to not want to, you know, click on that stream button and pop in on you guys. It's going to be hard, but I have to do this for me. Because like I said, not only is one of my close friends laid up in the fucking goddamn hospital, but my own fucking dad. The shit he's doing is fucking destroying me inside. Because he never used to be like this. He never used to be this way. When I was a kid, he was never like this. But now, he's become somebody that I don't even recognize anymore. And that's sad. The fact that I don't even recognize my own dad anymore. That's fucking sad. And that's why I'm taking a break. But just know that I love you guys. I'll always be thinking about you guys. I hope y'all are doing good. Just know that you guys are always with me in my prayers. And just know that I'm always going to sit there and be thinking about you guys. 
And just know that I do care about you guys. And that I'll always be thinking about y'all. And maybe somewhere down the road during this break, you know, somewhere in the future, like three, four months from now, who knows, I might pop in and say what's up, just see how you guys are doing. But for right now, I need to take this break. Because like I said, I've got a lot going on that literally is fucking destroying me inside. And that's why I'm taking a break and why I need to take a break. Because if I don't take a break, it's going to be bad news all the way around. With that being said, I love you guys. And I'll catch y'all later on, man. Peace. Awesome, Cyrax. So, you know, as always, We'll see you in a day or two, idiot. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.